Today's theme is spiders. Hi, welcome to the world of Eric Carl. I'm Renee, and I'm Vicky. And today's theme is spiders.、Mm. So today we're gonna show you how to make a spider, just like in the Eric Carl book. The very busy spider. That's right. And not only are we going to make a spider, but we are going to make a beautiful web, just like in the book. So let's get started. You're going to need pipe cleaners, some paper glue, tape, hole punchers, a scissors, googly eyes, some yarn, and a paper plate. Now we went ahead and we painted our paper plate right before this, so you can do that at home too. All right. So I think the first thing we should do is make our spider. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So pick one of the big pipe cleaners. I'm going to pick a green one, just like the spider in the book. I'm going to do blue because it's my favorite color. I love that. <laughs> All right. You're going to make it into a big ball. So. Really easy, just any kind of clumpy ball that you want. Very good. Up next, we're gonna make the legs for the spider. So you're gonna want to take your smaller pipe cleaners. I'm gonna pick orange. I'm gonna do red. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So you got them. You make a little bit of an X and twist, so that way they stay together. And then you're gonna take. Your big ball body, and you're gonna thread the legs through any kind of part you want. So I'm gonna take this little part right here, and I'm gonna thread it through. I'm gonna thread it through the back.、Oh, I like it. And then you're just kind of gonna wrap it like when you're tying your shoes at the beginning stage, just like that. Very good.、And、you can spread out the legs. So we've got two sets of legs. We got four legs right now. How many legs does the spider have? Eight. Eight. So we have to get <laughs> two more pipe cleaners. Yellow. Ooh, colorful. <laughs> I'm gonna do some more orange because I want it to look just like the spider in the book.、Right. You're gonna do the same motion you did for the other four legs. Now I mentioned how spiders have. Eight legs. Now, bugs have six legs. So spiders aren't actually bugs; they're arachnids. Isn't that pretty neat? They're their own,、yes. own original thing. I've got my eight legs ready to go.、Mm -hmm. Just spread them on out. Let's see. There we go. So now I think we should put the eyes onto the spider. I love that. Okay. okay. Grab your googly eyes, or you can just draw on eyes if you don't have googly eyes at home. I mean, you could really give it as many eyes as you want. You don't have to do just two eyes. You can do however. You can do a million eyes. And Pretty cool. <gasps> Yours is so cute. I think that's it. I love the green and orange. So now we have our spider. I think it's time to make the web. All right. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is hole punch. Our plates. Now, if you don't have a hole punch, you can use a pencil to poke through. Or if you need a little bit of help, you could just have a grown-up poke those holes for you. So we're gonna do one on the very top. So if it's like a clock, it's like twelve o'clock. Excellent. And now we're gonna do one on the bottom, so like six o'clock. And this is just one way to do it. You can really poke as many holes as you want and make your your spider web as giant as you'd like. Now we're gonna do on the sides, so halfway through. Let's just do four more in between the ones we already have. All right. And again, you could really poke holes wherever you want. That's what makes this a really fun, creative activity. Yes, there's no wrong way to do this. Just have fun and make it your own. So now that we have all our holes punched, I think it's time to make the web. Awesome! So for this, we are going to need some glue, and we are going to make a spiral.、And、again, your spiral can be big, small, however, however much you want. I'm going to start from the middle and just make my way out. So 
So once you're finished with your spiral, you're gonna take your yarn and you're just gonna make your way around the spiral with your yarn so that it sticks on there. Don't worry about really getting in there and getting your fingers a little messy with that glue. That's, That's the fun part. Mm -hmm. Then when you get to the end of your loop, you're just gonna take your scissor and you're gonna just cut the end off so that mm -hmm. it's nice and neat there. And again, if you just need help from a grown-up to cut that, you can just always ask. Okay. Woohoo! And we're done with our spiral. <laughs> Excellent. And now on to the final step. Ooh, my favorite part. Okay, we're gonna thread through the web. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start at the top of your paper plate. You're gonna push the web through, bring it from the back, and now to the front. Now pull as much as you can because you need a lot to work with. Then you're gonna bring it down to the bottom of the plate and weave it through there. So it's kind of right across like that. And then you're just gonna go right through the back just like before. And then you keep doing that until you have your web. Mm -hmm. Right across again. Again, you can make your web as big as you want or as simple as you want. I just notice every time we kind of go through, and at the back we go to the side, so it's right next to each other, but then on the front, it's right across from each other. Last piece, put it through. Okay. Looking Almost good. As well. We're at the home stretch. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then we're just gonna take our scissors one more time. Cut off any ends that we don't need. Like that's good. And that's good. And then take two pieces of tape. And we're just gonna tape it to the back just to make it super easy. So I got my little extra piece right here. Tape it to the back. Good job, very nice. One more. There you have it. Wow, look at what we made. Such a great job. I think it's time to put the spiders on the web. <gasps> my favorite part. How'd you do? <laughs> you know, my spider is getting a little tired, so she's going to take a nap on her web because she's had a very busy day. Thank you so much for making spiders with us. We had a great time. See you soon. It's puppet time. This is the very busy spider. On this puppet, there is a trigger on the back that you pull that can move the legs. The very busy spider weaves her web. She weaves it all day long, hoping she can catch a fly. And this is a fly. And this puppet is attached to a rod that I can wave through the air and wiggle to make the fly fly around until it gets caught in a spider's web. And she eats her dinner. Today we're reading The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carle. Early one morning, the wind blew a spider across a field. A thin, silky thread trailed from her body 
the spider landed on a fence post near a farmyard and began to spin a web with her silky thread. Nay, nay, said the horse. Want to go for a ride? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Moo, moo said the cow. Want to eat some grass? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Bah, bah, bleated the sheep. Want to run in a meadow? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Ma, ma, said the goat. Want to jump on the rocks? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Oink, oink, grunted the pig. Want to roll in the mud? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. She's very busy. Woof, woof, barked the dog. Want to chase a cat? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. cried the cat. Want to take a nap? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Quack, quack, called the duck. Want to go for a swim? The spider didn't answer. She had now finished her web. Wow, look at that. Her web is all done. Cock-a-doodle-doo, crowed the rooster. Want to catch a pesky fly? And the spider caught the fly in her web, just like that. Who, who, asked the owl. Who built this beautiful web? The spider didn't answer. She had fallen asleep. It had been a very, very busy day. Do you see her in the corner there? She's asleep. <laughs> Good night, spider. I hope you enjoyed that story. Thanks for joining us today. Hope you had fun. See you next time.